Hey guys, John Vaughn here from Tackle Direct, live at ICAST 2016 in Orlando, Florida. I'm at the Penn booth talking reels with Mike Rice. Hey man. Mike, thank you for doing this. So now we're gonna look at the Torque 2, which right. is new from Penn. They just refreshed their original Torque. Right. And, uh, go ahead, I'll let you speak. Yeah, so the original Torque came out about 2011. Um, it was our first really super spinner, premium spinner. Um, it's, we we kind of say if you're going to get stuck on a deserted island, this is the type of reel you want to have because it's really easy to work on, very few parts, um, and it's really hard to break. So you can see here, it's all machined aluminum. Obviously, everybody likes the bling factor. We're doing it in both silver and gold. So silver is a new color for us. We used to do it in black. We went ahead and dropped black, came out with silver. Silver is a great uh, second most popular color for us, and people really dig it because uh, when you scratch aluminum, the raw material is silver, so the silver uh, anodizing really hides any type of scratches. The reels just look newer for longer. So we're doing three sizes. We're doing the 5500, the 7500, and the 9500. Yeah. Same sizes as we had before. Uh, you can also see we're doing two bailless versions. We're doing the 5500 and 7500 in bailless. Uh, those are only offered in silver. So a couple uh, quick changes, you can see the reels are a little bit lighter. They've been drilled out, uh, drilled about as far as you can drill them out. Uh, we went with a machined aluminum handle knob here on the Torx. Okay. Uh, just spiced it up a little bit. It was the rubber knob on the previous. We got a lot of comments about that not being, you know, kind of being an inexpensive looking knob on a premium type reel. Uh, so people were really uh, fond of the machined aluminum round knob here. Uh, we did improve the ceiling, so we went to a one-piece uh, uh, side plate and, and frame here. In the past, the side plate was removable, so that eliminated one really large seal and one place for water to get inside the gearbox. Smart. Uh, so we really beefed up the ceiling on the reel, not just there, but in the drag system as well. Uh, underneath the spool, there's, it's a large drag washer system, and uh, we, we really went ahead and just tightened everything up in there as well. You can see there are huge drag washers underneath all sealed and these are dura drive washers just like we discussed on the slammer again okay. so again first time we're being able to use them in a spinning reel and that's a pretty heavy duty shaft huh? yeah super heavy duty main shaft i mean these reels get knocked around on the jetties they get dropped um, the last thing you want is to have your day ruined because the main shaft got bent so we had bail wire too super super beefed up yeah, yeah. so we, we really beefed up the reel um we also kind of uh it's also just more polished. It's, it's kind of more ergonomic. Everything's been rounded. Uh, it's just a little bit more refined than the previous generation, and you can actually feel that in the gearing as well. Yeah, a totally new gearing design. We're actually cutting it in Philadelphia. Um, you know, these are made in Philadelphia. I didn't cover that, but that's, that's one made of the Made in the USA, gear. guys. Yep. Torque made, 2. Made in USA, Torque 2, and we're actually cutting you know, the majority of the components in Philadelphia, and now including the gear system. You can just feel it's a really light turning, it's free turning, and it's really smooth compared to the previous generation. So super, super nice feel in the hand. Now this says the line capacity rings. Yep, line capacity rings. And is this considered a super line spool too? Yeah, we, we consider it. We, that's basically knurling. Um, that's what we do on our higher end reels, and yeah, that'll cinch braid down. Okay. Uh, just like a rubber band will, but it's, it's permanent. You know, rubber bands eventually over time will give out due to salt water, but that's always, uh, that's always gonna be there. Now, another question we always get asked on yeah. these sort of high-end reels is the bail. Is it automatic or manual? Well, on the bigger sizes, it's manual. Okay. On the 7 and on the seven and 9. On the 5, not the 5, but yeah, that's 5. We actually offer a switch underneath here. You can go back and, back and forth between manual and automatic. Some guys like manual, some guys like... Seriously? Yeah, this, this is an automatic trip switch, and it basically engages the bail trip. By doing that, I've, go, I've never seen that before. On a it was actually on the previous generation, but nobody really noticed it. Okay. Most people just leave it in automatic and go with it. Okay, well that's yeah. a good feature to have. Yeah, so it's cool. It's a little different than, than uh, anything else on the market. So again, these are going to be available a little later. The slammers, like we talked about, you know, more in the November time frame. These are going to be like right before next next spring run. So I think February ish is probably okay. when they're going to hit retail. February seventeenth. Okay. We got silver, we got gold, silver, bail, gold. no bail. Bail and no bail. Made right in Philadelphia. Made in Philadelphia. Mike, thank you very much. Yep. Guys, that's the Pen Torque 2 coming out. Like you said, it'll be after Christmas, early spring. Get your pre orders in now at tackledirect.com. Also, check out our new blog, hooked.tackledirect.com.